So today I'm happy to announce another unboxing video. Let's get right to the fun part. So what do we got in here? We've got the 24 volt protected switch shield. The low side switch shield. And the protected switch shield with BTS50010 dash one TAD for Arduino and the XMC 1100 boot kit now they've changed the packaging since the last time I did this so I'm kind of curious to see how it is in there and we've got a beautiful Arduino Uno R3 to go along with our boards. Let's have a quick look here. So what we have here is the XMC 1100 Arduino Uno R3. Now the thing is if you use this you don't need the Uno uh, for programming from what I recall from the previous one as well but you can use either one um, and then we got the low side switch shield as well as the 24 volt protected switch shield and also the protected switch shield here as well I noticed that they have changed their their packaging which is really good um, before they were using now this is how the packaging was before and it was really loose uh, people had complained that uh, parts had fallen off and you know it was just really poor packaging on their part uh, they should have put a little foam insert either behind it or on top of it uh, just to hold it in place there better and it would have gone a long way that's what you get I do believe box similar to these but they weren't branded they so they've definitely upped their game with the uh, their product uh, uh, design on their uh, boxes and that so that's a good thing board that I got it did come with on a previous road test I did test out this board here and this is the TLE 9411 2 EL version 1.3 it was a bit of a nightmare it worked all in all it was uh, I had to use the Arduino Uno for programming it versus uh, using the XMC 1100 so I'm glad to see that they went with a better packaging system here I actually just want to open this up right now and take a look at how they packaged it in here so much better I'm just gonna open it up here completely and just kind of compare it to the previous board to see if maybe they've updated anything on it I doubt it but uh, worth a check here so yeah it looks like it's still 11a version 1 yeah so they are the identical board they just addressed the issue with the, the packaging which is really good so I'm glad to see that they managed to do that so good on you there I'm quite uh, happy with that so I'll just put that back in its case there now because I don't need that one because I already have one So much nicer packaging that will fit better in my, my uh, drawer than this loose board so let's go ahead and I love this uh, packaging that they've uh, done on these. Uh, seems to be a lot better. We got a little, what looks like to be, oh yeah. 
Okay, I just want to check, make sure. So everything looks like it's all there, nothing is loose. So right now I'm just going through them and just making sure that everything's there and then we'll go into further detail on them after. And as well as getting a few projects uh, going with these to see how well they perform compared to previous like I said I did use the this guy here the DC motor shield with the TLE 9411 2EL the version 1 board so I'm curious to see how these are gonna fare with that so see if I enjoy it more or not Arduino Uno I am going to just assume that that's good because I have a bunch of them and uh, we'll just keep it in there for now. Oh, we got a little product information here. Great. And uh, this is the low side switch shield. So the packaging, it's in its own little package. So we're just going to double check, make sure no pins are bent or nothing's broken. And to me, it looks pretty good. I'm just doing a checkup on the boards. Remember that? That's all I'm doing right now. Now let's have a look at the 24 volt protected uh, switch shield. Okay, so we got a little bit of product uh, information here. A little quick start guide, which is always good to have and useful links all that kind of stuff uh safety instructions let's have a look at this bad boy oh they doubled up the foam in here that's great so i think they could have cut down on the box uh material here a little bit so let's have a look here at this guy well, it looks pretty good. Definitely nothing damaged on it. So that is pretty cool. I'm quite happy with that. That's going to be uh, fun to check out and play around with. So uh, I will go into more details on these here shortly. So uh, stay tuned for a video on that as well as uh, a demo of everything here. So thanks for watching everyone. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and take care, eh?